Invitation by Commissioner Patton, if he would, please. Yeah. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our Holy Father in Heaven, we come before you this evening in the most humble manner. Ask your blessings upon us as we enter this meeting. Bless us with wisdom, patience, to use our knowledge to do the most things that most uh, best for the betterment of our community and for its citizens. Bless us as we work together in uh, your this city. Keep us from the evil one as we work. In Christ's name, Amen. Oh. <laughs> Welcome everybody out tonight. Okay, first item of agenda is approval of minutes. Make a motion we accept the minutes of the last meeting. I second it. We have a motion and second for the discussion. Those in favor, saying aye. Aye. Opposed, saying. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Move bills. I, I second it. We have a motion and second to pay all bills. Is there any further discussion? Those in favor, saying aye. Aye. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. Old business. First items. Except the bid on the Ford Explorer. The highest bid that came in was one thousand two hundred seventy-five dollars to a Briley Lewis from Mike Henry. I move to accept the high bid for our Ford Explorer. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the drilling for the new well. Can we hold off and see if AB shows up to discuss this? Mm -hmm. I've got a couple of questions for him. Okay, we'll skip on down to new business. First item is approved the KLC safety grant submission. I think we're wanting to apply for um, just a variety of safety gear like protective um, equipment, um, glasses, latex gloves, um, rain suits, rain suits uh, some men working signs, vests. <coughs> Just a variety of things like that. We have a maximum amount we can apply is three thousand to have a fifty percent reimbursement. So we're still working on exactly our total. For a total of six thousand? No, it'll be no more than three thousand with us being reimbursed half of fifteen hundred. Yes. Okay. I make a motion we approve the KLC safety grant submission. I'll second to Motion and second for the discussion. Mr. Favor seen about the aye. Aye. Opposed same. Motion passes. Approval of sale of forfeiture items. Uh, yeah, we've got some uh, items that have been forfeited <coughs> to the police department, and we need approval to sell them. How are you going to sell them? I'm just. Uh, we still have that. Larry and I talked about it. Uh, Silent auction? <laughs> some, some of the merchandise may be collectibles, so we're reaching out to some people that we know. And uh, we, we don't want to list it just under one site because some of it's going to be more valuable than than others. Was it that truckload of cars? I think you talked about that. Uh, there were two tables. <laughs> one seater, and the other table uh, is no. So we have got a forfeit to the police department. <clears throat> are you selling them in lots? Or are you going to sell them all up together? Or what are you we hadn't decided that. <coughs> Yep, I guess the best way we could get. Well, I moved to approve the uh, sale of four fitted items. I think I think Mary said we need to go ahead and advertise though, just to keep us. I would think to say that it's fair that John Doe can't say, "Well, I didn't know anything about it." Where did you tell everybody? So just. Say do you have to I list everything that's on there? I think we can just run advertising that so we have four fitted items. Four fitted items can be looked at at City Hall. Mm -hmm. We have a second. He made the motion. He made the motion. Mm -hmm. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify by five. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the Pepsi contract. Uh, yes, our contract is, is, has come up with Pepsi, and uh, I have talked with Pepsi and RC uh, both. Uh, Pepsi was wanting a five. Well, Pepsi and RC both was wanting a five-year contract. Uh, 
we had talked with both of them. Pepsi had agreed to a four-year contract with the first two years uh, for prices, uh, guaranteed prices. Uh, all prices are comparable uh, with the bag in the box, the 16-ounce drink, and the 20-ounce bottles. Uh, the only difference is Pepsi is going to be given a $1,000 rebate per year, uh, so it will actually be a little cheaper than the RC products. Make a motion we accept the Pepsi bid. <coughs> And second that. We have a motion second for the discussion. Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed same. The motion passes. Next item is code enforcement code board appointment. And I've talked to someone who said they'd be willing to serve. And I'd like to put up for consideration Dwight Raymond. It's only one position open. For, well, no, but that's. Oh, your guy. Mm -hmm. I, I was totally went blank on that. Let's Here. do this one first and then that one because okay. that's why I knew I didn't have to worry about it. I forgot why. <laughs> Is Dwight still in school? Mm -hmm. So you can do this thing? Well, I'll, I'll make a motion we accept Dwight Raymond in this position. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, say me if I have time. Aye. Post thing. <laughs> Motion passes. And Charles, I'm going to have to ask you uh, his name again. Jared Gunter. G-E-R-E-D. G-U-N-T-E-R. For the another spot on the code board, put up Jared Gunter for a member of that board. Mo motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Does that get full strength now? They may want one more, but this gets them back in very good shape from where they were. That's where we're at. And we're still working on that attorney. Uh, next item is the uh, planning and zoning board appointment. And Nancy called me, uh, the lady she's talked to that's agreed to serve on that, named Kendra Rudge. Yeah. She's a manager down here at Marty and Les Shoes store. I don't know. I, 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 know her. I don't know her that well, but I do know who she is. She's one of the servers that's good. Yeah, and then the one server. She, she eligible? Okay. She we meets can. all the eligibility. But we Should can we take a chance that? to talk to her. And yeah, we may need to take a chance to talk to her. Let's see what she wants to do. Okay. Well, we skipped over here. <laughs> uh, next item, let's finish. I want to finish this one down here. We've got one more item under old business that Larry forgot to tell Mary to put on here. Yes, the building rental, the building. Building rental. The building for the, rental. We've already, I've already talked to everybody about it. We had the, the one year lease at the three, 300? I was going to say three, yeah. And uh, the gentleman leasing is back here if y'all have any questions for him. Chris, are you, you want to? Are you planning on opening soon? I mean, is it something you're looking at? Looking at about a month, you get everything built and done, and then go on. So. <laughs> we talked about it. Any questions or anything? Okay, well, I'll need approval of that year lease, three month, 300 a month. What's the move? I'll say, or Kevin King. Okay. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. <coughs> okay, we'll move back up to the well. To Mr. Carter. AV, I come over to your office last Thursday, and we were looking at the plat of the property, okay. the new well site, and the deed is, it was calling for a 25-foot easement for a road. And Justin was doing some, some digging on the deed work, and I think he had recommended <coughs> us to maybe have uh, a surveyor to go in there and plan it out to see if it is there. I, I would like you to look at it before we take too much action on it. Can he look at that tonight? And okay. Yeah. Been there before. This is the street we're talking about. This is what Justin had printed off. I 
Are you afraid you're not going to have enough room? Well, it's an access road going in. There's not room for an access road? Not without going in front of his house. And off of South Mulberry, it was calling for a 25-foot street. If we go the other route, we'll have to extend, put at least probably two times <coughs> in that ditch and build a road. And it's just not, if we can go in the other way, it'll just be a lot easier and better. Mulberry, is that the street before his house? Yes. Is there a street there now? No. Has there ever been a street there? No. And did the city ever accept it as a street? No. Then it's not a street. Matter of fact, I pulled that statute up. I started to send it to y'all uh, within the last month, the, the statute that deals with, with dedication. Um, uh, simply because somebody puts uh, in a, a, a description that there is a street, uh, it becomes a street only really one of two ways. One, it is dedicated to the city and the city and the mayor signs off on the dedication or it is used as a public uh, uh, right away for time sufficient to create what's called prescriptive easement which is it becomes a city street because it's been used by one for that length of time and in this case the city would have maintained it in some way um, the, the bigger concern is whether or not this is intended to be some type of easement. Um, and I haven't looked at the, the other documents that Justin has given us, but assuming, <coughs> assuming there is not actually a street there, um, either actually or by prescription, then there's no reason you couldn't access the area. Is that what, what you're saying? You can't access it because... There's a street there? No, we, we can access it in front of his house. It'd be, it, I guess it would be to the north of his house and then to the west. Mm -hmm. But he, he was wanting what, what he was wanting the street was there for, for the city to, to maintain and open it and that access the backside of his property. That way we're not coming in front of his house to access to the well every day. So, so what keeps you from doing that? The reference to the street? Correct. We want to make sure we can do that. <coughs> Do we have an agreement in place yet? This is, this is this is trying to be part one of the agreement. Suggest if you can go on to some other issues. Okay, that's fine. I just didn't want to start in on something with you. <laughs> okay, we'll go to some of our departments and we'll start with Officer Allen. Uh, what we got to report is uh, uh, our new guy, Mr. Lynn. Uh, he passed phase one. He'll be going to the 25th of this month. After that, that consists of this polygraph and drug screen. Uh, and then after we get those results back, then we will proceed with getting him on the academy day. And that's all I've got. Fire Chief, I set my character, David, do you have? Uh, uh, this time everything's good. We're just working on that grant process. And you okay. Tourism, Chobeth, yes. Report or anything? <laughs> Words of wisdom. <laughs> okay. The KLC grant is that just for like city employees, or is that city employees, fire, police, just kind of everything? 
When you when you said the blade text, you know, red coats and stuff like that, that seems like for, for but they'll have a case of the gloves as well. <coughs> the rest okay. of the city. In the the new well area, where where South Hill's potential uh, across you turn across from your Van Baby's church down. Hill Street, Hill Street. the end of Hill Street. Go down Hill Okay. Okay. It's where they shot the fireworks off that last time, wasn't it? No. That one time? I thought that's where I went with Danny. Was no, it, 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 he was on this next street up this way. He was on next street. <clears throat> Guys, you look like you got paper. I thought, well, he wants to talk. I was kidding when I said that a while ago. You want me to pass these down? Yeah, just to look at the individuals for the project idea we And the three of us are part of a five person group that is representing the Next Generation Leadership <coughs> Group formed through the high school. And with our Next Generation Group, we were delegated into these five person groups and given the task of creating a service project to benefit the community. And we were allowed a certain budget, and we came up with the idea of making aluminum recycling bins for our Beaver Dam Amphitheater. And we're going to be uh, Building those and creating them. Yeah, so we have a budget of two hundred fifty dollars and the the render the pictures you see there is basically our idea. So <coughs> we're with the approval, put them there to keep them in the amphitheater, we'll build them, paint them, and just have them there for the conference season to be used. They'll be approximately two and a half by two and a half foot, three foot tall. They won't be too big of an ex of, a, of an extraction. To the people, they accommodate the bags that the park currently uses to recycle aluminum. It's mostly just to get the word out there. We don't want the people at uh, any concerts or events at the amphitheater who just throw away their beer cans or bottles all over the ground. It's to kind of centralize a spot to recycle and to make the job easier for the city workers and anybody else who has to clean up afterwards. Is somebody going to empty them during the concert? Yes. Because during the concert, they get pulled back. Yes, they will. We've already How many will it be? There will be about three to four within our budget. Yeah. That includes building them and painting them. And that's all we have for the budget. That includes building them and painting them. And that will be enough to be sustained. It's made out of treated wood and it will be weatherproof paint so they'll be able to survive the weather and any treatment that's brought on. Any yeah, idea? Yeah. Are they going to be very heavy? No, it's all going to be made up two by four. Okay, so we can put them on a cart, and like in the wintertime, put them up. Move them up. Yeah. Them out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, get them out of the weather. Move them in storage or keep them out of the weather. I think it's a great idea. Is that going to be your job down the park to empty that every five minutes? Mm -hmm. Mr. Carter's here. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way he threw Carter into the bus there. <laughs> we all do. Why not? Yeah. We start raising them right. He's learning good. Yeah. That's, a, that's a good thing to learn right off the bat is, is delegate. I, delegate. Delegate. I like that word. Well, we appreciate it very much. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate your work. <coughs> He's back if you want to take Sam? Do you have anything? You want, do you want to talk about your project? You're welcome to if you want. I'm good. Okay. I've heard a lot of good buzz about it. It's a lot of people are interested. Yeah, my wife's on Facebook saying it's got 21,000 something likes and another 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
our restaurants are booming, you know, while they're in town. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a win-win, so that's why we kind of lowered our, our fee. But what we're finding now is that several people are they're booking the park and they're 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 not not, not out no money. And if their tournament bellies up, it prohibits somebody else that could have pushed at the same time as well. Hmm. So you wanted to pay half down or well, I think it was a hundred dollar deposit. Could be fair. If if they have their tournament, that hundred dollars go towards their rental fee. If 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 it rains, they get their money back. If their tournament just fails uh, because of lack of interest, yeah. Well, if for any reason, yeah. really, you can't. You're, that's going to be uh, hard to quantify. Yeah. But we do have some people because we've got one group that's going to use it once a month, from what March to October. Yeah, he's, he's, one weekend a month. They've already he's signed up. On the first one actually was March twenty eighth, and I contacted this morning, and I have not had any response. That question, just you said that Mark. Uh, like, will he be like the last weekend of May when we have the, when we have the concert? Yeah. It won't be on the day. No, that was. No, they knew that going. In fact, they don't have dates set all the way through. Okay. Just March That's and April, there are no concerts. There I think even no May. I don't think we have a baseball tournament, a concert going on at the same time. No, we, we can't. Last year, it was terrible. Uh, I was going to say, I thought. Yeah. 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 There's just no way. We could and that wasn't really planned that way. No, no. Uh, everybody that's on the books now, you know, I, I don't foresee us saying, hey, you got to pay a deposit just from this day forward, is what I'm kind of asking for. It could be a good thing. Did that promotion of the mayor? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I moved to require a deposit for the rental of the baseball. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Should it be a non refundable deposit? Only on a rain out. Only on a rain out, they'll get their money back. Yeah, if he stipulated it. Okay. Yeah. If it's Mother Nature, if we call it, call it off because of inclement weather, then they get their money back. Okay. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I'll be starting on budgetary figures next month. Oh, good. My if favorite time. If you have anything other than Paul yeah. Sanifer, oh, huh? If you have anything other than Paul Sanifer, please uh, let me know. <laughs> he doesn't like getting numbers from. Yeah, me. we got to add some money in to fix the entrances up at the cemetery. Don't forget that. Tell me what kind of idea you want. Why do you throw it on me? <laughs> I'm not a designer. Oh, we know. But we know we just heard. <laughs> Thank you very much for that, Larry. Uh, that was one time he didn't really want you to agree with me. Yeah, that is something that uh, Charles and I, we talked about. Now, I, I don't know what you all think about it. Talk, Charles was brought it up, and I agreed with it. Uh, we need to have a place for a cre for crematory Cremate, cremated people to be put, like a mausoleum or something where they could be put in there. I got a section of it for a, like a four by four plot instead of the. Uh, instead of a full plot. Yeah, instead of a four by ten. The only, only thing we're going to run into is is family members. Your your you know, Lord forbid your daughter, she wants to be cremated. You're going to stick her in a different section than where you're going to. Well, put that's it. their choice. When they do that, they, we can't. We can't fix everybody's well, I'm not, personal I'm not, I'm not. We make it available. They right. make the choice what they, what they do. Right. So we already got it in it rules that you, only one remains per plot. Correct. Even though some have got by that, but we have still already have that. So we're not going to change anything except make it available to them like other cities have a section just for cremation burials. That, that may be something else we have to look at is opening up two more sections because the Two new, cool. two new sections are not, not doing anymore. They're they're getting very full. Mm -hmm. Yep. So it's something we need to look at those sections that's not been used yet. Anything else? I just want y'all to be aware of that. Contain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion. We adjourn. We give those to Larry Henley.